Open Heavens on the Go. Thursday, October 7th, 2021. Topic, Look and Live. Memory Verse, John 3, 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Bible Reading Hebrews 12, 1-2 Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. The Message Human beings have been in search of the way back to their Maker since the fall of the first man. Man was sent out of the Garden of Eden and he became a wanderer without the peace that he once had when he had access to his Maker. This is the primary reason man invented various types of religions hoping to accept God through them. God, however, decided to reveal himself to people like Enoch, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, among others who sincerely loved him. This category of people received divine help to impact their generations by pointing them in the way to the Almighty God. Jesus said it plainly, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. John 14, 6-7 when one of Jesus' disciples asked him to reveal God the Father to them, Jesus responded by saying, He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. John 14, 9 Jesus Christ is the perfect revelation of God the Father. It is through his teaching that we know that God is a spirit and whoever wants to worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. John 4, 24. He told us that unless we are born again, we cannot see the kingdom of God. John 3, 3. Religious activities are exercises in futility without this new birth experience. Until Jesus came, even scholars of the Jewish religious laws we are ignorant of these principles of God's kingdom. Therefore, we must always look unto him for direction if we want to make it back to the one who created us in his own image. Part of our Bible reading today says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Hebrews 12, 2. Also, Jesus Christ himself said in John 3, 14 to 15, and as, Mo and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. I encourage you to look unto Jesus for salvation, deliverance, healing, breakthroughs, and eternal life. You will experience abundant life here on earth and in eternity with God in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer point. Father, as I look unto you, 
perfect everything concerning me now and forever in Jesus' name. Bible reading in one year, 1 Kings 1-4 to Him for today, I have a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.